Everybody's complimenting me on my hair except for my wife. So here's so here here's actually something most people don't know about me. Um, I had a couple different nicknames. So Fern, which is my nickname now, I got in college. Uh, obviously, my last name is Fernandez. Pretty easy to figure out why. I had another nickname before that. So when I was like 10, my ninth grade, my well soon to be ninth grade basketball coach used to call me Fuller because I had like a high and tight and I wore glasses like the kid from Home Alone, and I looked like the kid that wet the bed. So they called me Fuller for years. And, uh, and then I had another nickname. One of our good family friends growing up, they called me Skippy. So in Family Ties, if you're old enough to remember Family Ties, Skippy was the super annoying kid that lived across the street that would just like burst in people's houses all the time. And, <laughs> and that was me. Like I was like, I had virtually no manners as a young man. And I would literally just like walk in people's homes and like eat their food and sit on their couch <laughs> and like watch TV. Like I am originally from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, moved to Newport, Rhode Island, where I met my lovely wife, Jessica, at the Naval Academy Prep School, and, uh, and then ended up here in Virginia Beach. So my dad has been a uh, basketball coach for like 30 years, and I never had any intention of coaching until I started doing CrossFit. I played basketball my entire life. I was, uh, I was an absolute student of the game, but I never had any intent to coach. And then I started doing CrossFit. Uh, my wife, Jessica, actually found it. She's like, let's go do it. Uh, my first workout ever was JT. It took me like 37 minutes. It was awful. Uh, it's been a huge part of our life since then. But what I didn't know was how, I didn't realize why my dad loved coaching so much until I started getting into coaching people. And I realized that the impact that you can have on people's lives and the ripple effect that can happen when you really, really interact with people at a much deeper level than just in their fitness. Um, that can go exponentially, you know, to hundreds and hundreds of people. And I love the fact that walking into the gym every day, you get the opportunity to have that effect on people. I think my proudest moment as a coach is uh, with one of our OG members, um, Laura. She's been with us for a long time. I think she's like one of our originals. So probably pushing, you know, well into six years, I think, even before we were CrossFit Rife. But uh, Laura, if you're watching this, Laura, I love you. Um, she had this uh, absolute fear of just jumping on a box. Like she just would not do it. I mean, you could have held a gun to her head and she would absolutely not jump on a box. And one day I was just kind of not having it. I was like, no, you're jumping on that damn box. Like, it's gonna happen. And what we did was I just literally put a 10, a 10 pound plate on the floor and then she jumped on it. And I put another one and she jumped on it. And I put another one, she jumped on it. And before we knew it, I mean, we were well over a foot, uh, probably pushing 20 inches. And she had, she actually didn't even realize it. And this was, I mean, we did it pretty quickly, but the look of overcoming that fear, um, and I've seen it in a lot of people over the years, but that look of being able to overcome things, um, fears is, is the, is the biggest thing ever. And that, that shines to me to be one of, one of the best moments that I've had. My, my motivation is, is solely, I feel uh, this burning desire to pay it forward. I feel that I owe a lot of people for all the things that I've gotten in my life, whether it was um, things I achieved as an athlete growing up when I played college athletics, whether it was to work hard as a professional, I feel the need to pay that back to everybody that walks in the door because it doesn't take as much as you think to get those things. It just takes somebody to invest them, their time in you, to care about you, and to show you the way to do things the right way. And I, f I feel that not enough people get that love and attention. You know, I feel, that, I feel the need to give people the means to do what they want. And if that means me giving you all of my knowledge, then that's what you're gonna get.